very good morning to my dear students and welcome to our psychology class so today we are going to talk about another type of disorder that is obsessive compulsive disorder i hope you have heard in uh, words of uh, in mouth of many people that um, they are having ocd they are having this they are having obsession they are having compulsion about a certain thing right so today we are going to study what is obsessive compulsive disorder so to know about this disorder there are two important things about this disorder that is obsession and com and compulsion right so the two important concept of the disorder are so when we say about obsession right so obsession is something which uh, inability which states that uh, it's a uh, inability to stop thinking about a particular idea or topic it means that a person when he is obsessed with something uh, he is every time thinking of that particular idea or about a particular thing or a topic for example i am a narcissistic personality so i'm obsessed with my own uh, uh, you know face i'm obsessed with my makeup i'm obsessed with my hair so it's like uh, you are getting obsessed to your own personality right so that kind of disorder is known as narcissistic personality disorder although we are talking about that right now i just give an example so obsession is something which enables or uh, which uh, you know uh, uh, which uh, make a person to get stuck with the same topic repeatedly to like thinking about a topic repeatedly right so for example my hands are dir dirty i need to wash so this is the uh, thought uh, or this is a particular idea which you know remains in the mind of that person who is obsessed with washing hand and also we think that hands are dirty hence he need to wash it right then um, uh, what happens after every five minutes the person has an obsession of thinking that his hands are dirty this is known as obsession now next we have compulsion compulsion is something which we say uh, for example the thought when we actually put into action right compulsion is actually doing the thing of which you were thinking about so need to perform the same activity over and over again example washing hands after every five minutes for example you think that my hands are dirty i need to wash it I mean, my, my hands are dirty i need to wash it or it can be uh, uh ocd can also be um, found in a person with counting of money then uh, when a person go out of his house he will check the uh, you know lock 10 times before going house again he will come back again he will check whether i have lock it properly wrong again he will go again he will come and check so it this is this kind of disorder are known as obsessive compulsive disorder which is repetitive and where a person every time thinks about a particular topic or idea and actually he does that that is known as compulsion so other disorder which falls under this category may be trichotillomania means hair uh, picking or oh, sorry hair pulling then excoriation skin uh, picking and uh, includes hoarding right so this is all about obsessive compulsive di disorder
next we have post traumatic stress disorder so it's like um, what happened after uh, sorry what happened after the stress so that is why it is known as what happened after the tra traumatic incident that took place in a person so because of the traumatic incident that took place in a person's life stress occurs and this particular stress related disorder is known as PTSD that is post traumatic stress disorder so in this disorder uh, a person um, sorry what is post traumatic stress disorder so it may occur when a person encounters with disaster victim of bomb blast being in a serious accident or war related situation so if a person has encountered all this kind all this type of situation in his life he may suffer from ptsd right so firstly it was observed in army who have fought in wars lost their new ones so uh, although it's not given in your book <coughs> i got to learn when i was in my uh, you know in my degree or MSc so they we are being uh, taught that uh, this kind of disorder actually uh, found firstly in bit in uh, among armies where they used to go for wars and they used to get traumatized because of the certain war related situations hence the symptoms of flashback are recurrent dreams that impact concentration and emotional numbing recurrent dreams mean, means what um, he may um, you know encounter with dreams may see flashback then no concentration at all and also emotional numbing the person is not uh, uh, you know is not able to say anything when he suffers from this kind of disorder or may get, can get attack of PTSD so another kind of disorder which falls under PTSD are acute stress disorder then adjustment disorder which also falls in the category of post-traumatic stress disorder so dear students today we have um, you know uh, learned about two topics that is OCD and PTSD do uh, write the important points regarding OCD and PTSD and also I'm giving you some videos uh, which will be helpful for you to know what the exactly the disorder is what are the consequences of the disorder so thank you have a nice day and God bless you